How's it going, everyone? We're back again today with another installment from the food wall. There it is. We're talking about Elwood Shack in Memphis, Tennessee today. And this might be one of the most, like, Google the definition of hole in the wall joint, Elwood Shack should pop up. This place is so, like, low key, so, like, not well known about when I showed up. And I told people, oh, it's my first time here. You know, like I'm from Philly. It's my first time in Memphis. Here I am, like in Elwood Shack. People there were like, how did you find this place? Like, what? How do you know about this? And that's when I started getting the first inkling that maybe I should be writing this up somewhere. Or maybe I should be taking more thorough notes. And maybe I should be getting this information out. About just how, you know, how, how like local and small of food joints I'm finding and just how good they are. So, a little about Elwood Shack. Uh, when you show up, you, you're going to park at a Lowe's. It shares a parking lot with a Lowe's. And that's just, and it's just like on the side of the road. It's just, it's so like, oh, it's so like perfect, like hole in the wall vibe. It's, it's beautiful. Uh, so, of course, I'm wearing the Grizzlies. Jersey, go Grizzlies, because we got to talk about just this is the best food in Memphis that I've had. Um, and it's crazy good. So when you show up to Elwood Shack, you're going to think like I did that you, it's a barbecue joint. You should get barbecue. And so I did. So I get the Shack attack. Uh, you, you see it here. It's well, you see my, my progress uh, as I was working through it here. Um but it's this massive plate of like all of the meat they have that uh, apparently this massive basketball player would come and get uh, during like lunch uh, like years ago. And they called him Shaq and so they called it the Shaq attack. That's what I heard. So I was like, I'll take that. You know, it's like a shitload of meat for like, I don't know, 50 bucks, 60 bucks or something. And so this was right after I had two full racks of ribs at Pappy's for like breakfast, lunch kind of. And so this was like dinner. And so I'm sitting there for like an hour and a half because I had two full racks of ribs like a few hours before this. So it's taking me a while to get down all this meat. So I'm sitting there for like an hour, hour and a half, like shooting the shit with like other customers, shooting the shit with other people working there. And the, the barbecue was fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Like no worthy on its own. Definitely delicious. And but I'm sitting there and I'll, uh, here at the counter Everyone keeps ordering these fish tacos. And so when, when the guy, like, the guy who's, like, working the counter comes over because I'm just sitting there and when, when no one's there. Because this is, like, a small joint. Like, not a lot of people know about this place. So there's no, like, crazy line or anything. So he comes up to me and he's just, like, sitting with me. And I'm like, so, yo, like, why are so many people ordering these fish tacos? Like, you're a barbecue joint. What, what's going on? And he was like, oh, the fish tacos are the most popular. They're, they're amazing. I was like, bro, why didn't you tell me this earlier? <laughs> but I'm like, okay. Okay, I hear you. Uh, so I will try to make room next time I have for a third dinner or a fourth dinner or something like that. I'll try to swing by and get some fish tacos. And so the next day, I, I had a uh, castle restaurant, which is another, another uh, installment on the food wall in Memphis. Really good food. Well, that'll have its own video as well. But... After Castle Restaurant, I had some uh, fried chicken before that. I had room for like, uh, uh, I think it was my fourth dinner. Because uh, I got some, I was getting some, a bunch of food that day. But, so I'm driving back and Elwood Shack is like on my way back to where I'm staying. So I'm obviously really full, but I stopped by. I'm like, I need to try these fish tacos. Like he was telling me all about it yesterday. I got to try it. So I I show up, I order these fish tacos. And as soon as I, as soon as I take one bite. I, uh, my jaw's on the floor. I'm like, oh my god. This is so much better than the barbecue. Like, I was stunned. I could not believe it. I, I, it blew my mind. It, it's just so fucking good. It's the, I mean, you know, it's grilled fish tacos. Um, you know, they cover it with, you know, the standard affair of vegetables that you're used to. And, you know, the shells are just, you know, a little bit of crunch, a little soft, perfect. But the fish is cooked just so perfectly. It's it's fantastic. The fish just has so much fucking flavor. And the, the sauce they put on there is delicious. And 
It's insane. Like these fish tacos are the best fish tacos I've had in my life. Elwood Shack comes in at number six overall for this reason. Elwood Shack is just amazing. And yeah, you just got to get these fish tacos. I, when I went to San Diego, I was absolutely stunned that none of the fish tacos even came close to the fish tacos in Memphis that I had here at Elwood Shack. So you got to try it. You're like this is the number one spot in Memphis for a reason. It, it's a go-to. It's, I mean, you get like going to Memphis, you know, you want to go for the music. You want to go for the culture. You want to go for the Civil Rights Museum. I'm with you on all that. Civil Rights Museum is fantastic. It's very moving. But <laughs> Elwood Shack is the number one, should be the number one attraction in Memphis. Like th these fish tacos are mind blowing how good they are. So you got to come by, you got to get them. They're just absolutely delicious. So you got to make sure it happens. I mean, you're, you're going to eat it and you're going to start freaking out like I did. I was just, I was yelling and, and losing my mind with just how good they were. So I'm hoping you can do the same. I'm hoping you'll enjoy them. And yeah, grub out.